What up, everybody? I'm just coming back to share some news out of Tuscaloosa that I just uh, found out about. So we got five players that's entered the transfer portal today. So it's backup uh, quarterback, um, Paul Tyson, Jaleel Billingsley, and Drew Sanders. Those are the main three. Uh, one, of, one of the others is an offensive lineman, Tommy Brown. He got some playing time this season, but he didn't get much. And the other one is a linebacker. Uh, he didn't see the field this, this uh, year. His name is King M. Wakuda. So he didn't see the field at all. But Tommy Brown saw the field. But uh, like I say, Paul Tyson, Jaleel Billings, and Drew, Sa Drew Sanders then entered the uh, transfer portal. So I figured Paul Tyson would enter the portal anyway because – being behind Bryce Young, he's not going to get any playing time. I know Bryce Young will only be a junior next year, but uh, Paul Tyson got to go somewhere where he can play because him and Bryce came in together. So he got to go somewhere where he can play. I believe they came in together. But uh, and then uh, Drew Sanders, I mean, he came in after uh, Chris Allen went down. He did his thing, but he got injured. He injured his hand and had to have surgery. And then um, – here come Dallas Turner. So Dallas Turner been in there doing his thing. Dallas Turner been showing out. So I guess Drew Sanders just felt like with the emergence of Dallas Turner, he wasn't going to get too much more playing time anyway. And I don't know why Jaleel Billings is the transfer, trying to, uh, he entered the portal. But, I mean, it is what it is, man. He really didn't perform this year anyway. I don't know what was going on with him uh, this, this season. But uh, he was nothing like – last season so I just don't understand what, what the deal is with him but hey hats off to those guys we can't do nothing but wish them good luck but uh we in this in this transfer portal days now so we just got to live with it but uh nah, I don't know man Drew Sanders he's a he's a he's a pretty good player man he's a pretty good linebacker man so I hope he goes somewhere where he can he can show out and Make it to the end of the field along with uh, Jaleel Billingsley. But like I said, when it came down to Jaleel Billingsley, it's just like he wasn't all in this year. I mean, even in the championship game, man, I mean, he was supposed to be a blocker for uh, for uh, B-Rob, but hey, it's just like he didn't even try to do, just pushed him out the way and got the tackle, man. And he, he done missed several tackles. He missed several tackles this past season, so. Uh, missed catches that he should have caught, but like I say, it is what it is, man. If he don't want to be there, hey, more power to him. He's welcome to move on because uh, we got somebody behind him anyway. And, and plus, lad, too, he's a, he's a beast for us at tight end. So we're going to be all right with our Jaleel Billington. Uh, once again, Paul Tyson, he wasn't going to see the field. Not long as, uh, not long as Bryce Young was there, and Bryce Young is healthy. So we got Jalen Milrow. He's uh, the next man up for the uh, backup quarterback. And uh, I think he'll be a, a hell of a quarterback uh, for us. He's a big guy. He's got a big arm. So, and he can run. So, uh, hey, I think we'll be all right with him if uh, Bryce Young was to go down. But uh, I understand that these guys want to go somewhere what they want to play and they feel appreciated because, hey, uh, Paul Tyson coming out, four five-star, Jaleel Billings, five-star, Drew Sanders, five-star. So I don't know about Tommy Brown and other guy, but uh, these guys got talent. I know they do. And uh, they want to go somewhere where they can show that talent and get looked at by these NFL scouts and hopefully move on uh, to the next level. You can't do that sitting on the bench. So, uh <laughs> There it is, man. So, plus we got a, we got a, uh, we were second in the uh, recruiting uh, this year. So, shit, we got a lot, lot more coming in, and uh, <laughs> I'm sure next year we're gonna be a force to reckon with. But I just think Jaleel Billingsley, he's leaving. Up. Him and Drew Sanders, I think they just leaving a year too early because I think we'll be right back in the national championship next year and possibly a strong chance that uh we're gonna win it man 
But here, look at here. Jaleel Billings only had 17 catches this season for 256 yards and three touchdowns. And uh, he was a preseason second team all SEC selection, man. Uh, yep, Sanders was a five star recruit in 2020. Um, but oh well, it is what it is. Uh, have to say goodbye to those guys, good luck to those guys. But uh, they, they got to make the decision that's best for them. So, hats off to them. Maybe they'll go somewhere we, where we can play them and hopefully beat the brakes off them. <laughs> but anyway. That's all I wanted to tell y'all y'all about, man, that uh, we losing some some good guys in Billingsley and, and, and Drew Sanders and hey, but whoever get them, they'll have some experienced guys and maybe they can use those guys and they can show showcase their talent. But anyway, that's all I wanted to tell y'all about Roll Tide.